There are times when I feel stuck. I know I need to do things and I either am unclear or don't want to or don't feel like I have the time. And I have, don't get me wrong, I have a fucking army of people that work for me that are highly capable. But every now and then there's something in my brain that, that says to myself, like, I need to do this. I'm responsible for this. I have to figure it out before I can reiterate it to somebody else. But you know what? At the end of the day, when your main responsibility should be selling your services, negotiating, doing the really, really important strategic work with clients, those little tasks really need to be passed off to other people. And I hesitate because it's something that I really don't like to admit. I have this thing about handing something off to somebody else that isn't clear because I feel like every single time I communicate directions, it needs to be clear. What's most important when you have employees or contractors that work with you is that if they are unclear, they will ask you clarifying questions. And you know what? At the end of the day, there are times where you can be as clear as you think or you think that your way is the best and it doesn't really land for the other person as clear or it's not the best or most efficient way. So remember that when you feel you're stuck and you just don't want to move forward and you're lagging and you know that it's impacting your client's project progress, there's a few things. One, there's something deeper that you got to deal with. I actually, in meditation, was able to identify what that is. I will share at a different time. Two, just pass it off. Ask for help. Be clear about the fact that I'm not really sure how to hand this off to you, but if you can take a look and give them the expectation of what you would like them to do with the information, that way you can at least start the conversation and you're not the sole person stressing off of this thing. I do this to myself every now and then, and it's really painful. Three, remember that working with teammates, it means that you should hire employees and contractors who are up for doing the work and who are capable of doing things better than you and have perspectives that are wider than your own because that's really the key to success. And that was today's tip.